Chelsea Brennan Wessels, and welcome back to Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. The Copernicus Sentinel 2B satellite takes us to the Republic of Fiji in the South Pacific Ocean on September 28th. Part of Fiji's largest island, Viti Levu, is pictured here, with coral reefs speckling the water. Shaped by volcanic activity and earthquakes, the center of the island is dominated by forests and a mountain range. The highest peak, Mount Tomanivi, reaches over 1,320 meters and is located on the central right side of the image. While the area east of the mountain range receives heavy rainfall, the west side pictured here is in the rain shadow, meaning that the mountains block the rain clouds, leaving this area drier than the east. In addition to the human population of some 600,000, one of the largest insect species also resides on Viti Levu, the giant Fijian longhorned beetle. The island is the only known home to the beetle, which grows up to about 15 centimeters long, excluding antennae and legs. With more than 300 islands, the Fijian archipelago's low-lying coastal areas are at risk of sea level rise, a devastating consequence of climate change. Satellites carry special instruments to measure sea level rise, but not only. Different instruments can measure different climate variables, from greenhouse gases to melting glaciers, and offer a global view of the state of our planet. The Republic of Fiji holds the presidency for this year's COP23 climate conference, held this week and next at the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change headquarters in Bonn, Germany. In February of 2016, Cyclone Winston struck Fiji, damaging tens of thousands of homes and buildings, leaving more than 130,000 in need of shelter. With the COP23 presidency, Fiji calls for everyone to come together to build partnerships for climate action between governments, civil society and the private sector, and to work together to improve the climate resilience of vulnerable nations and communities. And that wraps up this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that for all the latest on space and about our planet, you can visit our website at www.esa.int. From the ESA Web TV studios, have a great day.